what's going on everybody i'm excited to be recording once again uh, you may have noticed uh, this is a different angle than before the reason being is i got a new mic uh, it was gifted to me by my mother-in-law as an early father's day present so shout out to my mother-in-law thank you so much uh, for this gift um i may do with what i had but i did need a, a, a mic hopefully the sounds better and um, it's just a little easier to record so Shout out to her. Thank you for that. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Um, and, you know, hopefully you will continue to watch and share, like, subscribe uh, to my channel. These videos, uh, these are things that I am doing to, to help others to build up my business, which I'm working on right now, developing a life coaching business. And so um, another thing, I added a couple of links to... Uh, to receive donations and you know as you know this is my channel it does require some preparation it does require time and so if you feel generous and you'd like to donate uh, you'll notice on my channel um, on my banner it will show or in the description of my channel it will show um, three ways that you can donate I have a link for buy me a coffee uh, which is a great uh, setup just to receive donations. I have a link there for my Cash App, and then I also have um, a link that goes directly to my PayPal account. Again, all up to you. Um, anything is appreciated. Um, I do appreciate your generosity, and it just helps me to continue to you know create content and put those things on my channel. And so, again, now you have options to donate uh, directly through my channel. If you'd like to great if not um watching right views likes comments shares um subscriptions to the channel are very helpful and so by no means am i <laughs> am i holding that against you uh, but, it, but it is an option now and it is helpful so thank you for that and today's video is going to be you know i, I this is something that I think is is important enough to where we can repeat it multiple times. I've probably mentioned uh, some of these things on previous videos, but it's just something that we should go back to often because it is something that we struggle with. And what I'm talking about is, you know, how we can stop focusing on our mistakes and our failures. Okay, so I'm going to talk about four specific things today on how we can stop focusing our, on our mistakes and failures. Notice how I said ours. Notice how I said we. Again, I'm not the I'm not the guy. I'm just a guy. <laughs> so I'm learning, right? That's why I chose the channel name. I'm living to learn. This is a learning experience. Life is going to be a learning journey and it's going to be continuous. And hopefully the learning will stop when when I'm no longer here because that's my intention. I want to continue to learn. I want to continue to have an open mind. On a lot of things and it's really helped me develop and and you know become the person that i am today and it's going to help me become the uh an even better person you know uh in the future and so you know one of the things about you know reminiscing on our past in old times it's 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 really cool right it's it's a great exercise nothing wrong with thinking back and you know thinking about good times i have a lot of great memories with friends and and just people that i grew up with and you know, every once in a while, a, a memory will pop into my mind or when I was younger, you know, I, I've had a, I've had a good life, you know, I, I can't complain. And so, um, you know, sometimes I think, you know, catch myself daydreaming and maybe you do the same thing. You're thinking about back in the days and, and, uh, you know, how things used to be. And sometimes we're, we, we catch ourselves though. Um, I know for myself, sometimes I catch myself living in the past a little bit and that's because at times when I'm going back, when I'm thinking about memories and I'm kind of just going back to, you know, even the good times, um, it will, my mind will automatically come across something that maybe isn't such a happy memory. You know, it could have been something that I did uh, wrong. It could have been a, a mistake that I made, a, a poor choice, right? And the problem with living in the past, the problem with staying there in our minds is that uh, this can be, this can be damaging. Right. It, it, it's more it can be more damaging than helpful. And a lot of times where where we get in trouble is when we start to repeat mistakes in our minds. Right. 
bad choices that we made or, you know, maybe there was just something that we just, you know, we blew it, right? I have those experiences and <laughs> from my past, I have plenty. And some are a little easier to shake than others. Some, uh, you know, they do get me kind of stuck on them a little, you know, depending on what it is. And I'm sure we can all relate, right? Mistakes that we made. And, you know, if we just continue to repeat those mistakes in our minds, what happens is uh, we put ourselves in a bad spot. You know, it can, it, can, it can really steal from what we have in the present moment. Because remember, there's nothing we can do about the past. You know, we can't go back in time. There's no, there's no time machine, right? It's not available. Um, I mean, the science is there, right? There, we have these brilliant individuals who've figured out these, these equations and, and, you know, physics, but whatever models they've come up with, where they maybe have figured out how we might be able to do it. But we're far from that. You know, we're far from that. And for the time being, there's no way we can go back. So, so how do we stop doing that, right? How do we stop dwelling on mistakes and failures? Because it can really draw us in, right? It can really draw me in when I just sit there and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm focused on why did I do that and start to beat myself up. And I don't know what your pattern is like, but that's pretty much the way it goes for me. I start dwelling on something. I start thinking about it. Next thing I know, it's just consuming my, my thoughts. And really, it's unfair, it's unfair to myself because it's like, hey, there's nothing you could do about that. So why are you going to let it ruin your day to day? That, that makes no sense. Right. So how can we stop focusing on our mistakes? How can we stop focusing on our failures? The first thing, OK, four things. The first thing is to learn to value our mistakes. That's the first thing we got to do. We got to learn to value those mistakes. Mistakes teach us things. Right. They do. Even if it's as simple as, hey, <laughs> doing that was a mistake. So next time I'm going to do the other thing, right? It could be as simple as that, but they teach us things, okay? They, they can make us stronger. They have the ability to make us wiser. They have the ability to give our personal narratives a more interesting and more, you know, it, it makes us unique, right? It, it gives us di a different experience. So there's value in these mistakes. And, and really, this is, I like this as the first one because, this is really something we gotta, we've got to embed this in our minds. We've got to pound this into our minds. Many of us have an imprint from how we were raised. Many of us have a, 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 a automatic, you know, go-to or, you know, we, we draw conclusions a certain way. We, we've developed like a, a pattern. And this is a pattern that we need to really just force into our minds, even if it interrupts the other patterns, Right. We've got to learn to value our mistakes. That's the first thing we got to do. That's the first thing we got to do in our in our effort to stop focusing on our mistakes and failures. Right? It's not the successes that cause us to grow. It's the mistakes. It's the it's the tough times that bring out the most resolve, uh, develop the most resilience in a person. And you know, a, a mistake, a, a failure. You know, they're not comfortable. Nobody likes that. I don't like to make mistakes. I don't like to fail. You know, even if there is value in it, I don't want to mess up. But you know what? Reality is I'm going to. So why not learn from it? Why let that steal from me when I can gain from it? Right. So that's the first thing we need to do. We got to learn to value our mistakes. There's value in it. OK, feel free to like, feel free to comment, subscribe. If you have a thought about that, learning to value your mistakes, let me know. Okay, the second thing, right? And again, once we realize, before I go to the second one, once we realize that our mistake has value in it, uh, we can be a little bit more comfortable and accepting it as part of our story, right? We can just come to understand that, hey, as I progress, as I move myself uh, in this progression to becoming the best version of myself, this is going to be a part of the story. Success, failure, mistakes. You know, they're all in the same room together, right? It, it, it's a part of my story. It's a part of our story. The second thing we need to do is we need to start looking forward, right? Like I said, it, it's, it's unfair to me if I allow something from the past to steal from me today. So I need to start looking forward, right? I need to remember that things are going to start to get better. Things are going to start to get better now. Made my mistake. How am I going to learn from it? 
right? And how are we going to allow it to drive us? How can we take that and use it as fuel to progress? Rather than, rather than using it as a weight to hold us down, turn it into fuel to push us forward, right? And, and, and we don't have to think about, oh, you know, well, last time I tried this, I failed. Okay, that happened. What are we going to do the next time around to ensure that we get closer to a success, right? And not be afraid. Okay, so we have to learn to value our mistakes. We have to look forward. We have to know, we have to trust that things are going to get better because we're learning from what, what went wrong. The third thing, we have to forgive ourselves. Now, this one, this is, this in particular is a hard one for me. This, this, this one's tough. Forgiving myself. Many of us, we're going to focus on our failures. We're going to obsess over them. Uh, we feel frustrated, right? I've, I've been there. I have those moments to this day. We might even feel guilty. What we need to do is we need to forgive ourselves and we need to stop holding ourselves to this false standard that we have to be perfect. That does not exist. That is a myth. That is a fairy tale. There is no perfect life. There's no perfect person. If you are human, you are prone to mistakes. Just the way it works. So why are we holding ourselves to this, you know, difficult standard of perfection? You know, it's unfair. You know, forgive yourself. Take it easy on yourself. I got to I got to forgive myself. I got to say, you know what? I messed up. I I made a mistake. You know, I got to forgive me cuz I'm I'm human. I'm just a person. I'm just Josh. I'm going to mess up. You know, uh mistakes are just part of life. It comes with the territory. And they're to be expected. That's the biggest thing. So forgive ourselves. We need to forgive ourselves, right? Um, once, you know, once we, you know, once we just do that, it's just, it kind of, it becomes easier to just kind of look at those things as lessons learned and let's move on. Right. We can't focus on mistakes and failures that, that will get nothing done for us. Okay. And this is how we can stop doing that. So we want to learn to value our mistakes. We want to look forward. We want to forgive ourselves. Last but not least, we need to learn to let go. And this kind of this kind of just meshes right in with the last step, which is forgiving ourselves. We got to learn to let it go. Okay, we got to get over it. Letting go in itself is something of an art form. Right? It's it's for some of us, for some of us, it's a little bit easier. For some of us, it's overall a, a, a more difficult process. And then, of course, for each and every one of us, there's just going to be certain things that are easier for us to let go than others. But really, we need to do that. We need to we need to learn how if it's an art form, we need to become artists in learning to let go. OK, if we're someone who has an obsessive personality, generally, then it's definitely something that we want to learn. OK, and, and I know that in certain areas of my life, I can be that person. So we, we got I got to learn to let go. You know, um, and sometimes we, sometimes it, it, and again, what, what are we willing to do to get better? Right. This is a question I have to ask myself all the time. If I can't let go, let's say I'm a person that doesn't let go easily. What do I need to do? Do I need to read books? Do I need to go see a therapist? What am I willing to do? Because if I can't learn to let go, if we can't learn to let go, then it's just going to be dead weight. It's going to be dead weight on us, on our minds. You know, it's mental, it's physical, it's spiritual. It, it affects every part of you, right? Every part of us. So what do I need to do to learn to let go? What do I need to do to learn to forgive myself? What do I need to do to learn to look forward? What do I need to do to learn to value my mistakes? Again, there is work to be done if we want to be different if we want to see a different us if i want to look in the mirror and see a different person and see myself different i have to ask myself what am i willing to do okay and one of the most important things that we can do as we progress as we pursue the most excellent version of ourselves even that in itself sounds a little overwhelming 
but it's it's doable and i think it's a noble cause and that's part of why i'm making these videos we have to stop focusing and, and uh you know being stuck on our mistakes and failures it's not going to help us so i hope these four you know bits of advice were helpful remember learn to value our mistakes Look forward, right? No things are going to get better. Forgive ourselves. Hey, made a mistake, failed, dropped the ball. Got to forgive myself. Got, last but not least, got to let it go. I got to learn to let go. Okay? And I know for some of us, we think of mistakes and failures. You know, we're not thinking about, you know, we, we might not be thinking about things like, oh, you know, I making a wrong career move or, you know, oh, I should have you know, went that route or whatnot. Some of us are thinking about some serious stuff. Some of us are thinking about some serious things that we did, mistakes that we made that carried some heavy consequences. So I am by no means putting a time limit on any of this or saying, hey, you, you know, by tomorrow you need to have, you know, that's not how it works. What I'm saying is if it's not helping you, we got to figure out how to flip the script, right? Because this life is to be lived. There's a lot out there for us. And there's a lot of things that we're capable of that most of us don't even realize. And by being able to take away, you know, the focus from our mistakes and failures, it's going to be that much more helpful to, to us. It's going to help us be bold in, in taking chances. It's going to help us, you know, uh, stay with that with with the idea that hey we we can get better there's more to learn there's more to there's more to gain there's more to become and so i think it's important and again um if you like the video share it comment let me know if there's anything let me know what you thought about it um you know again if you feel generous and you'd like to donate to help me continue to make this content it's truly appreciated the links are there in the description of my channel. Also on the banner of my channel, you'll see them. Um, again, don't feel like you have to. Just watching, liking, sharing, subscribing is helpful. So um, thank you so much for your time. And uh, please continue to watch.